Hi, Marilyn. Are you ready to shoot the video? No, not now. I'm really busy. I'm very busy. Lots of things to do. What are you doing? Nothing. Are you Googling cats drinking coffee? No! You know they actually don't drink coffee at a cat cafe, right? Yes. This week on the World Famous Sea Fox with Meredith. All right, so fans of the gorillas were super excited to learn this week that Damon Albarn has announced that yes, he does have tons of songs written. He says he has enough definitely for one full album. And also he says he could probably come up with a fifth album at this point. He's going to start going into the studio to record starting in September. Hallelujah. The Fox. We also had our second show of the Red Truck Parking Lot concert series. This one saw the truth headline. Check out some footage from the show. The next one takes place in August and it's going to feature Head of the Herd as the headliner. So you can find out more about it and how you can get tickets by going to seafox.com. The Fox. This week on Wednesday, Sea Fox was also at the premiere of the new Ant-Man movie. Now this is Marvel's latest one. It features Paul Rudd starring as Ant-Man. And I'm not gonna lie, at first I was a little bit skeptical simply because I couldn't see Paul Rudd being this super awesome action hero. But you know what? Marvel did it again. They knocked it out of the park. It was fantastic. And it's definitely a must see for your list this summer. I need you to be the Ant-Man. Makes sense. The Fox. And another concert announcement this week on my show. We found out that Slash is going to be coming to the Queen Elizabeth Theatre in Vancouver on October the 12th alongside Miles Kennedy and the Conspirators. The Fox. One of the most fun parts of my week was actually getting the chance to sit down and talk to Ryan of Mother Mother. And we talked a little bit about their new album, their new singles, what it was like recording in Toronto versus his home in Vancouver, and also what it was going to be like to be performing at Squamish Valley Music Festival, what to expect from them, and how you can look for him in the crowd when he's not performing. I was wondering about that. I'm like, there must be so many things that you guys would want to do too, and yet you probably can't go anywhere without people, you know, attacking you for autographs or questions or photos or selfies. Yeah, like in a squamish setting, it it, it kind of maybe it might look something like that. But you know, you just get a fake mustache and a hat, and you're good to go. <laughs> there you go. He'll be the guy with the fake mustache and the hat. <laughs> yeah. The fox. Well, that was it for this week on the world famous Sea Fox. Next week, we've got a couple of things. First of all, it's going to be the final Friday for you to take part in Reels Gone Wild 2015. This is when the Jeff O'Neill Show go live on location from 6 till 10 a.m. and serve up free drive through barbecue breakfast for anybody that wants to come by. Thanks to Barbecue Brian and the House of Q, as well as BC Pork. Also, we're obviously going to have to talk all things coverage and music festivals taking place right now as I speak, and it's going to roll right through this entire weekend as well. And then finally, Chateau Mumford. Can't give you too many details about this yet, but this could be your ticket into Squamish Valley Music Festival, including accommodations. Keep your eyes on cfox.com for more information on that, as well as details on everything else that we discussed today. For the world famous Sea Fox, I'm Meredith. I love cats. I love every kind of cat. I just want to hug all of them, but I can't get hug every cat.